This is Lugardowski in Dublin, Ireland, and I have to say the Irish are very well Americanized. They're the only country in the European Union that actually fluoridate their water. But of course, there are some crazy conspiracy theorists that hate strong teeth. And I actually got a chance to talk to one of the ringleaders of this hate group. So what crazy conspiracy theory are you spewing, sir? Well, we're not spewing a conspiracy theory. What we're really talking about here is fluoride in the drinking water, um, a really highly toxic chemical that they've been putting into the drinking waters of Ireland, and 60% and, uh, of the uh, American public are now getting this. Um, and there's a large number of studies that show that fluoride causes cancer. <laughs> no. Yes. It causes cancer, it causes osteoporosis, it causes arthritis, it causes, uh, it even has links to Down syndrome, it, it, and it causes irritable bowel syndrome, which a large number of the population have. So this stuff causes a lot of damage, and there's a large number of studies proving harm, and there's absolutely nothing proving it safe, and yet you're drinking it every day in your drinking water without any questions at all being asked. Well, in fact, fluoride is more toxic than lead and only marginally less toxic than arsenic, and like lead and arsenic, it's a cumulative poison. And, by the way, the toothpaste that you're using is, is filled with sodium fluoride, and sodium fluoride is used as rat poison. In fact, there's a, there's a poison warning on all American toothpaste tubes right now. It actually says that uh, if you accidentally swallow more than a pea-sized amount of fluoridated toothpaste, you should contact the poison control center immediately. And that's been on there for, by federal law since 1997. Uh, sodium fluoride has been used for years for rat poison. Um, and there's enough fluoride in the tube of toothpaste to kill a small child. But it's good for your teeth. Is it? Um, I, I don't think so. In fact, what it does is it breaks down the enamel of the teeth and it causes a, a, a dental disfigurement called dental fluorosis, which is white stains and brown, uh, white flecks and brown staining that run horizontally across the teeth. So it actually does dental damage and it causes cavities to come in through the face of the tooth where they normally couldn't. Normally you get cavities in the lateral sides of the teeth where you can't get the toothbrush to. But now that you use fluoride, it creates all these little white flecks, which are thousands of little holes that have been dissolved through the enamel of your teeth. Because what they're putting in the water supply isn't fluoride, it's actually hydrofluorosilicic acid, the toxic waste of the fertilizer industry, the phosphate fertilizer industry. And it's contaminated with lead, arsenic, mercury, cadmium, chromium, uranium, uh, strontium-90. Uh, this stuff is really contaminated with a lot of stuff. And there also happens to be fluoride in there. But this isn't fluoride. This is a chemical cocktail that's coming from the phosphate fertilizer industry. So it creates white flecks and brown stains across your teeth if you use it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. But well, why would my government a dentist lie to me? Well, why would they tell you the truth? It would end up in lawsuits, wouldn't it? Because if what I'm telling you is true, and that this causes cancer, and it causes osteoporosis, and it causes 50% of the people to get uh, irritable bowel syndrome, or to cause, you know, what's going to happen? Everybody's going to start suing, and the next thing you know, this government's going to get broke. Uh, they can't afford this, and the industry isn't going to be sitting by and paying this either. So. You've got a problem here. They're, they're actually getting rid of these chemicals for the chemical industry. It's dumping. It's just wholesale dumping. And you know, you know what your politicians are like. You know, you know what your own government's like. Do you believe them? So you had a terrorist victory. Please tell us more about these shenanigans. Well, I wouldn't call it a terrorist victory, but I did have a victory in Northern Ireland. We got this taken out of the water supplies in Northern Ireland. And we got the councils to all vote against this. We got 25 out of 26 councils to vote against this. We got the four area health and social services councils to vote against it. We had NIPSA, the large civil servants union, vote against it. And they're the people who were going to put it in. We had uh, sh uh, uh, the farmers unions vote against it. We had the Angling Federation against it. We had the Vegetarian Society against it. Queen Students Union against it. In fact, we even had Shorts, the large aerospace industry, threatened to pull out of Northern Ireland if this went ahead. So we had widespread opposition to this, and we got it stopped in Northern Ireland. I don't believe you. I, well, I can't help that, but it's true. We did get it stopped. And, and we're going we're gonna to get this out in the waters of, of uh, the Republic of Ireland as well, because this has been going on for 45 years down there. Against everybody's will, they've been drugging people. It's got to stop. I hope not.